Hi, I'm Severio from Honor Plugins and uh, we are here with Mr. Hatefish that is the mind behind our latest plugin, the Regenerator. Uh, it's the, our MIDI step sequencer based on the Euclidean algorithm. And uh, we are here today and he will show you uh, some tricks that he can do with um, a modular synthesizer that we have. And uh, so uh, let's see uh, how we can use this plugin to drive a uh, complex hardware like this one. So what are we are going to do? Uh, okay, so, um, so basically I asked to Saverio to develop this, uh, this plugin because uh, I wasn't interested in, uh, you know, in uh, exploring um, not so conventional rhythms to combine. We, here we have 16 tracks that you can combine. Um, actually, with modular synthesizer, is a monophonic, so <laughs> we can use just one track for the moment, and then we will see something else with the second track. Very interesting, so, for my point of view. So um, I have basically I have my MIDI interface somewhere over here on the table that goes from the plugin to the MIDI interface of the modular synth, and then there are a bunch of cables that. I mean, they're not very interesting, but, <laughs> you know. Makes they, everything work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have to have it. So, um, so what, what the, okay, the way I use the plugin is, um, it's fairly intuitive. I just start to, um, the, the, my do, and uh, okay, we need a little bit of volume. It's not too much. So it's a very simple patch with you know a couple of sine waves that goes into the mixer and stop. And um, so what what I do, I always do is like you know trying to find something interesting, just messing around with um, these two parameters, the main parameters, was, which are the steps, you know, and uh, the beats. Or, I mean the hit, how many times you hit the basically the, the, mm -hmm. uh, the MIDI interface. And once you start to listen, to find something that you like, I don't know, something like this, or maybe you can just speed up a little bit the page. And then, you know, I love this kind of stuff because it's pretty really simple, but they somehow they inspire me because they um, they drive me in a direction that where I I will never go without the plugin. You know, mm -hmm. th th this is uh, I, I mean I think it's kind of, it could be very useful uh, to overcome the block of the writer. The writer <laughs> yeah, yeah. Block, when, you know, when you get no, we cannot yeah, get creative you, in any way. Yeah, you, you have time. You have you go in front of your computer, but you're not able to. <laughs> Yeah. To do anything, so uh, for me it's a very point, a very starting, good starting point, and uh, something that I do, I love to do with um, the plugin is also to control um, the modular because the plugin can also control send the control change. So if I um, basically uh, the the two oscillators goes into a CB mixer. So the CB is a control voltage, you know, is a way yeah, yeah. to control these babies, you know. And uh, using the CB mixer, uh, which is here, if I plug it, and then I switch on, uh, you listen, you hear the difference? Because now the mixer oscillates between two oscillators, and uh, sometimes, you have the, the sine wave, and sometimes you have the square wave. So, and you control this movement with uh, the second track here. It is very interesting to me to, yes, to with, find the difference. Yes, with just one, one, one oscillator. Yeah, yeah, it's and a couple uh, of oscillators. Two. And then you, you, you can start to find it. Yeah, it gets different. groovy. Yeah. <laughs> And then you, and you can send the control change to, to everything you want, just 
this is just one parameter, but you can control whatever yes, you like. Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. It's a super simple now page, just with a purpose to to show you the the basics, you know. Yeah, but it's that. That's great. That's great, and already sounds great. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, uh, with with just a, a simple patch, we've been able to create an interesting rhythm just using two of the sixteen sequencer that we have available on this plugin. So, if you want to try it out and send us your suggestions, we will be very happy to receive them. So, thank you very much for watching this video. So uh, we are still here uh, working and playing uh, with uh, our new plugin and uh, it gets addicting. Uh, we started uh, playing, uh, messing around and we created just three tracks. The first one uh, sends out a MIDI note. The second one uh, changes the PWM of uh, the square wave that you hear playing. And the third one, uh, changes the decay time and uh, it really gets interesting really 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 so yeah